Hello and welcome back to the Balti Azrishan YouTube channel. Thank you very much for your lovely and excellent feedback. We really appreciate it. It's encouraged us to do more and we hope as always you will enjoy watching our videos and above all when you've cooked them you will thoroughly enjoy each and every morsel you will eat. Thank you very much. Chicken Madras will be cooking today straightforward simple basic cut few steps and you will all enjoy this dish as the others the chicken balti malai chicken masala chicken gel frazi chicken madras coming for you now thank you we'll start off with some oil approximately three three tablespoons Let the heat will heat the oil up gently. I'm going to add some ginger and garlic. Ginger garlic, we're just going to cook it, uh, fry it slightly not too much not too overdone just enough that's right some tomato puree two tablespoons a gentle stir Now some freshly squeezed lemon. Some water. Turn the heat down. Now the spices. Half a tablespoon mixed curry powder. Half a tablespoon of chili powder. If you would like your madras hot, you can add more. I would recommend half a tablespoon chili powder. We have a nice thick, all the pa all the spices are mixed together. We've got a paste here. We're adding our chicken in now. Approximately 300 gram of chicken here. Turn the heat high, slightly. So once we've turned the heat high, not just medium heat at the minute, let the chicken cook. Once it's cooked, then we'll add some water to give it to uh, make our sauce. Now I'm going to add some water. Approximately two cups, one and a half cup, depending on how thick or runny sauce you would like. If you like the sauce runny, you can add more, but a thick, uh, medium consistency sauce is what a madras should be, as we do in our restaurant. Stir it good. 
gradually so all the spices dissolve within the water and it will create a nice sauce for us. I'll turn the heat high. As always our recipes are simple recipes so each and every one can <coughs> make cook them with basic ingredients which, which are readily available at your house or within local shops. Simple. At this point the chicken is almost cooked. All what we're doing now is letting the sauce thicken to give us a hot, a nice madras sauce. After a few more boils, I'll be adding some kasuri methi, dried fenugreek. I'll just keep letting it boil, just so the sauce thickens. Just gonna lower the heat down, let it simmer slowly. So gradually, it'll be uh, thickening our sauce as well. Fenugreek leaves. Again, fenugreek, uh, if you are able to take a pinch, then slightly rub it and then make it to a powder form, then you put it inside the curry. Just gets more flavour. Re the fenugreek releases more flavour once inside the dish. The chicken's cooked now. We'll be just waiting for the sauce to thicken. Once the sauce is thicken, the dish will be absolutely ready to serve. Hit turning the heat up. Some coriander. Uh, salt, you can add your salt in now, uh, salt to taste. If I was doing a curry like Jalfrezi Balti, I'll add the salt while frying the onions at first, but now we added the salt towards the end. It's your own preference, you can add the salt at start or towards the end. Now we have a nice sauce here and this is the consistency we need for the sauce. Just some more garnish for coriander. Ready. Ensure your chicken is thoroughly cooked before you eat or take the uh, pan off the heat. Our chicken is thoroughly cooked. Ready to be plated. Chicken Madras ready. Hope you all enjoy it. Thank you very much once again for watching, taking your precious time by leaving some feedback. Excellent feedback. We really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much once again on behalf of my brothers and the whole team at the Balti House, Rishton. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day.